Hi everyone, welcome back and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Shen. So I was sent some skincare products by a company called Bolden to review. So I will be leaving timestamps down below just to make it easier for you guys. So they kindly sent me their clay mask and their overnight spot treatment and I have been using these for the last four weeks. The company is black and female owned and there's a heartwarming story behind how the two came together to create this company. And I'll leave a link down below if you're interested in the story. So with all my skincare reviews, I have kept my skincare care routine pretty basic and I've kept it consistent all the way through. I'm going to start off by talking a little bit about the ingredients and I am just going to be talking about the standout ingredients in the product. I'm not going to be listing and talking about all the ingredients that's in the product um, but I'm going to start off with the clay mask. So the clay mask has bentonite and ke kaolin clay Colin clay I don't know how to pronounce that and both of these ingredients kind of do similar things they basically control excess oils and detoxes the skins from any toxins or impurity glycerin which is a humectant it draws moisture from the atmosphere and basically just keeps your skin hydrated colloidal sulfur I think that's how you pronounce it it's antibacterial and antifungal so basically stops your spots from getting infected willow bark extract which is a gentle exfoliant also commonly known as the natural version of salicylic acid and it offers some protection from free radicals then there's geranium essential oil which is as it says it's an essential oil this is supposed to help protect against free radicals however because it's an essential oil it's volatile fragrance can lead to sensitivity but it is in a wash off product so I'm not as concerned about it and your chances of sensitivity is significantly lower then there's Cleom Gynandra <laughs> think I've said that right extract this is another botanical ingredient it is an extract but it does have um, antioxidant and anti-inflammatory benefits it's also said to help with the overproduction of oils or seven so those were the main standout ingredients in the clay mask for me so the first thing I noticed straight away was the strong smell I'm guessing it's from the geranium essential oil it's not really the most pleasant scent I would say so I apply it to damp skin after cleansing and leave it on for about 10 to 20 minutes. Then I rinse it off with lukewarm water. And guys, it works. It does exactly what it says on the bottle. After I've used it, I feel like my skin's had like a deep, deep cleanse. I feel like it just sucked out all of the dirt, dead skin cells out of my pores. And my skin just feels like really, really clean. It just really calmed my spots down after I've used it like that feeling that you have when you have a fresh breakout and it's like really inflamed and like sore and kind of sensitive after I've used the clay mask it kind of just reduces all of that for me so moving on to the spot treatment the ingredients in the spot treatment is very similar to that in the clay mask with the exception of a few ingredients here and there the spot treatment has glycerin colloidal sulfur willow bark extract cleomine geranium leaf extract geranium essential oil so those are the ingredients that were similar um, to the clay mask moving on to the exceptions which is isopropyl alcohol also known as rubbing alcohol this is usually used as a vehicle to help the other ingredients penetrate the skin but it is very drying and it does cause sensitivity very low levels this ingredient isn't really that significant however this is the second ingredient on the ingredients list and it's really the first thing I noticed when I tried this product because it's such a strong smell and then the last outstanding ingredient um, was propaninol I think that's how you pronounce it um, that is a humectant just like glycerin it draws moisture from the atmosphere and um, basically hydrates the layers of your skin after cleansing I would apply this to dry skin focusing mainly on the areas that I had breakouts then after letting it absorb into the skin I went in with a moisturizer and then sometimes I would go in with like a oil like either rosehip oil or argan oil just to like lock the moisture in. and then the next morning the swelling and the redness would significantly reduce this was so good at drying up my spots and kind of like speeding up the healing process and I don't know if it's because of the alcohol and the fact that it kind of like dries up that spot a bit which is kind of what I use the ordinary um what is it called peeling solution for to help like dry up my spots but this product does exactly what that product does for me so does it work yes it does work 100 percent. so for the first week i used the products as described or advised um the clay mask was advised to use two to three times a week and then the overnight spot treatment was to use every night but because i have pretty regular skin i wouldn't say my skin was excessively oily and 
Um, I don't have like extremely bad acne. I do get spots here and there. Um, my skin goes through a cycle really. So by the second week, I reduced it to about once or twice a week and I use it as and when I felt like I needed to use it. I found that this worked really good for my skin. I also found that I didn't need to use the spot treatment every single night before bed. Just like I said before, I feel like I have pretty regular skin and I do get spots like here and there, but I wouldn't say that my spots are like so really really bad that i'd need to use it every single night so by the second week again i had reduced it and used it probably i don't know i think i started to use it about four times a week and then by the third week i was using it three times and here or there or as and when i felt like i needed it so it really did work for me and i will be in certain videos so you guys can like see how my skin progressed bearing in mind that i would get spots like one day in the week and then i'd get new spots another day in the week it was kind of like a cycle for me when i put this on the next day that spot would kind of go down and it wasn't like irritated or like inflamed anymore my skin does go through cycles of being good and then breaking out but i did want to still show you guys like a before and after of my skin so i can't remember if i was given a discount code but if i was i will leave that in the description box down below if you guys want to try any of the products out the products work they do exactly what they say <coughs> sorry i'm coughing guys it's not the corona <laughs> But if I had to pick one of the two, I think I'd probably pick the clay mask because I think I kind of like this one just a little bit more than this one. Um, and because it's a wash off product, so this is definitely going to get like used very good. Plus I love the whole, um, I don't know, the whole process of like having a mask on, like I don't know. I'm like a person who, I like the effectiveness of the product but I also like the feeling of a product and like the whole process of it that's my review if you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and you can ask me any questions down below if you have any questions about the product and again if i have any discount codes i will leave it in the box the description box down below but i don't think i was sent one thank you guys so much for watching this video and i'll see you in another one